Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Intel Core Ultra 5 235 desktop processor. If you're interested in the CPU, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. This does come with a three year warranty. We can learn more about the 235 right on the side. 24 megabytes of cache, LGA 1851 for the latest and greatest socket from Intel. This CPU features 14 cores, six performance cores, eight efficiency cores, up to five gigahertz. PCIe 5.0 and 4.0 support all the latest and greatest from Intel. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature with our Intel Core Ultra 5 sticker front and center. And this literature is gonna walk us through getting it installed, including the cooler and the back plate. So step-by-step -step processor installation, simple, straightforward, showing you how to connect and plug everything in and it repeats again and we have multiple disclaimers in multiple languages next we have the cooler itself take a look at this pretty sweet i actually didn't know this came with the cooler i thought the box seemed pretty heavy so pleasantly surprised there we already have our thermal compound installed but simple straightforward cooler here and then last but not least we have the cpu itself you can see that right there in its protective packaging. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. We'll be installing the Intel Core Ultra 5 235 CPU right there in the motherboard socket. So we'll open that up. We'll pop this open, pull that back. On our CPU, we have a triangle here and a little tiny golden one in the corner. So we're gonna line those up. That triangle goes in this bottom corner there. It matches what's on the cover there. Then we just take this, it'll pop right off. And now our CPU has successfully been installed. Everything else came together for our build right here. We've booted up. I went ahead and I pulled up CPU Z. So you can see the CPU tab here. Feel free to look at any individual spec in more detail if you're interested in seeing that right there. So there's our CPU tab. I'll go ahead, we'll show you the motherboard as well, just to get a better feel for some of the parts and components in this build. Memory tab. SPD, graphics, and we'll go to the bench section. We'll actually run a bench test here. We'll see how it performs. So take a look at our results. So single thread score up here, as well as our multi-thread score. Let's see where that stacks up against the competition. Starting with the single thread scoreboard right here, looking at the CPUs up at the top. Interestingly enough, we haven't seen our CPU on this list yet, but there's the 285K with a score of 901, 265K, 874. So we'd be further down the list. We'd be right here in between the 12700K and the 9800X3D. Really respectable score. But anywhere in that range, 12600, 12700, above the 7950X and the 7900X, so not bad. And I like to believe thread count will tell us a similar story, but we have 14 threads, so we'd be off the charts for the 12 thread category and almost off the charts for the 16 thread category. So we have 14 threads. I don't know why that's not on here, but anyways, kind of besides the point, we'd be in good company here with the 13700 series CPU. Moving along to Geekbench 5, take a look at our single core score and our multi-core score. Let's see how we stack up against the competition. With the score of 1829, we'd fall right in between these two CPUs right here. I'm seeing the Ryzen 5 5500, I think everything else is mostly like laptop CPUs. There's the 9900KS below. So pretty far down the pack when we look at the competition. You can see the leader right here. And with the score of 16706, we'd fall right in line right here between the 7900 and the 14700F, which is above the 13900. Now let's talk about temps. Let's just give you a baseline right here. Now keep in mind, your mileage will vary depending on what cooler you're using. So this even comes with the stock cooler right out of the box. If you want to use that, you can. And obviously we have a lot of airflow here with our panels open, but right now we're coming in at 30 degrees Celsius at idle. 
and you can see about 15 watts. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stress this out and see how hot it gets. So at 100% utilization for the CPU, we're pulling 65 watts, and you'll notice we're only at 47 degrees Celsius. We peaked at 60. Our minimum was 29, basically 30 at idle. But take a look at that with everything under a full load here, 100% utilization, 65 watts, 47 degrees Celsius. And if you wanna see the megahertz there, so 3.4 gigahertz, give or take a little bit, peaked at 4.3. That's what we're seeing realistically with this um, being stressed out right now without any uh, customizations or overclocking settings or anything tweaked within the motherboard. So just keep that in mind. This is what you could expect depending on the cooler that you have performance wise. So where does that leave us in regards to the Intel Core Ultra 5 235 CPU? Let me share with you my final thoughts. Here's what you need to know. Overall, the Intel Core Ultra 5 235 is a solid, efficient mid-range CPU with good value for budget gaming PCs and everyday tasks but it doesn't redefine the mid-range PC segment or anything along those lines. It's just gonna be your efficient performing CPU for everyday tasks and gaming. So in summary, this PC is trying to find that balance between price, efficiency, and performance.